Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I'm going to talk to you about some port scanning options that are definitely going to help you out. Probably one of the most useful videos in this series today. So by default if you guys are familiar with servers and you know devices and stuff like that you probably know that there are 65,535 ports available on your server. Now, 99% of these ports, they're never used. They're never open. You don't have to worry about them. There's probably only like a handful, like, I don't know, I want to say 20 or so that are used like, you know, the majority of the time. Now, whenever Nmap looks at a server and it starts scanning, by default, it's only going to scan the 1,000 most popular ports. So that's the way that your tool works by default. And like I said, the reason for this is because it takes time to scan ports. So if every time you wanted to scan a device, it had to scan 65,000 times, you know, any server you're scanning, it's going to take like two hours. So there are ways that you can, you know, actually do a thorough scan, and there are other ways that you can speed it up as well. So that's what we're going to be learning. But just remember, by default, Nmap scans the 1,000 most commonly used ports. And by most common, I mean SSH, FTP, MySQL. Um, HTTPS, you know, all those ones. So if you just want to scan the top 100 instead of the top 1,000, then your scan is going to work a lot faster. And you can use the flag minus capital F. So this just means fast. And if you just scan some IP address or domain name, then there you go. So again, in, instead of doing the 1,000 like it normally does, look how fast that took. So it cuts it down by a tenth of the time and gives you the same results that we got before. Now another thing that you can do is you can actually only scan specific ports. So let's say that you just figured out this really awesome, well I guess it wouldn't be awesome for everyone else, awesome for you, vulnerability with MySQL and HTTP. What that could be I have no idea, but you only wanted to scan certain ports, like maybe three specific ones then what you can do is you can specify them using minus P. So from here, I'll show you guys a little shortcut. You can either just scan one, like if you only want to scan port 20, or you can scan a range, so ports 20 through 25. And if you want to do multiple ones that aren't, you know, um, what are they called, one after consecutive, then you can just separate them with a comma. So let's just do uh, 20 through 25 and 80 and 443. So we're going to do 20 through 25 and then 80 is just HTTP and 443 is HTTPS. And I'll just do it for the new Boston.com. So there you go. And this can save you a bunch of time as well because again, it's not scanning a thousand. It's only going to scan whatever ones you specify. So there you go. So it's going to say, okay, these are all filtered. SSH is open and boom. Pretty much, you know, we saw all this before. Now, another cool thing that you guys may found useful is if you want to scan ports by name, then it may be a little easier than, you know, remembering the port number. So let's say you want to scan, uh, need a space there, HTTP, which is port 80, and MySQL, but you didn't remember the port number for MySQL, you can actually just write MySQL. And this right here is a comma, in case you guys can't tell in the video. So there you go. So let's scan my server and see if I have HTTP in my SQL up and running. All right, so we have this up and running because it's a web server and my SQL is filtered. So there you go. Now, if you guys ever get hired by a company, then it's always a good idea to scan every single port. Now, like I said, this is gonna take a long time because you know there are over 65,000 of them but I mean if they're paying you especially by the hour then you probably want to do this now I'm not gonna do it because like I said it takes forever but if you write minus P minus this indicates that you want to scan every single port so just write you know the new boston.com if I can type and hit enter and there you go so that's how you would do that now another thing that and this is something that I use almost all the time is nmap minus minus open. So this is going to scan just like before the 1000 most commonly used ports, but it's only going to display the open ports because if a port is filtered, 
and protected by a firewall or it's closed off and there aren't any services running, then I really don't care about it because it's likely not, you know, a huge vulnerability. So this scans and mother effer. All right. Well, you typically don't want to add that. You typically don't want to add this, but I have sausage fingers. So there you go. All right. So this scans it just like before, but it's only going to return, like I said, the open ports. So boom, roasted, toasted. There you go. So those are some quick scanning options that you can use. Again, I like the minus F for fast. And I also like to specify sometimes like if I'm only scanning for FTP or MySQL or some ports that I know are typically vulnerable. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video.